defensive zone face-off that's going to end up with a battle in the corner. So there's, they're engaged there in the corner. Our net front D is a lefty playing right D. So yep. there's challenges right away here collecting this puck because he's not going to be able to just grab it easy, turn, and get his feet going because uh, he's got to handle it on his backhand. So right away, you see right there, yep. shoulder, he's checking, he's surveying. Yep. And he's actually just going to do a rim to the guy that he knows is going to be there. So a nice, right. this is, this is, this is actually a pass. hundred percent. This is, this is a pass using the yellow. Then if you look at our winger coming across right there, yep. there's your shoulder check. There it is. Now he knows this guy's not coming down on me. Right. I got time to collect this thing on his backhand. His back is turned to the ice. So even if there's a guy with pressure, he could protect it. He's not going to get hit from behind. He's going to grab it. And he actually, this is an interesting thing too, right? Like he lets this puck, he doesn't stop it. He lets the momentum of the puck kind of go past him. And then he actually right. skates into it. And there's another head check. There's one, grab, again, again. Good. Three of them. That's kind of the... Um... What I always tell, like, my D when I'm working with them, it's find the puck, find your man, find the puck. So it's like find the puck, check and take a look, find the puck. So he does it the opposite. He, he, he knows the puck's coming. He takes a look. He finds the puck. He takes a look, finds the puck, you know? Yeah. And then the Very next – Cerebral. Correct. And the next part of this is knowing, knowing your, your outs or your support. So having your team being predictable. So he, he's looking. He knows that our winger is coming through here. But he should also just know that that's happening anyways. Right. So, and this is, this is an interesting play by that, the support of that winger. Because he, in the last second, he's going to jump to the inside of that, that player. Great. It's a great play, yeah. Right? To get available. So, now he catches it. So, that, that defender thought he was on his outside shoulder. Then, all of a sudden, he's on his inside shoulder and he's got the puck. Right. In stride, and now it's just a two-on-one foot race. This is one of my favorite passes of the year, right here. Yep. This is this is pretty nice. Just the backhand, little sauce, one touch, and that's the game winner. Yeah. That's nice. Start starting from the board play, you know, way down here. What, what I love about like, and again, we talk about. Your, your winger that came through, what he did a great job of was changing his speed. The first thing this defenseman does is he follows the puck. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is that it allows players to change their speed to get behind the play. He'll never be caught. And think about this. If, if I were standing in a parking lot outside and you came out of Walmart and you didn't know who I was, and I was standing right in the middle of the road and I was staring up at the sky. Okay. What would you do? You would look at me. You would look at the sky to see what I was looking at. And you'd probably look at me again and be like, what's going on? Right. <laughs> but Should've I went to caught, Wegmans is what I would be thinking. Exactly. But I caught your attention in the sense that like, I have time to make a move. Like you're turning your head. What happens when like that focal point changes? And, like, how you can make that speed change, like, super efficient. So, that's the moment you got to hit it here. This is accelerate right that's here. Just as he does intuitively. Like, he's clearly not thinking, hey, I'm going to time this when that lefty's turning his head. But that's what happens in this play. Bingo. So, watch this. Okay. The line here. And he had just moved the puck to the middle of the ice uh, to his teammate over here. And this is something that we worked on a lot this summer, talking about change of speed. So what happens when that puck moves from one side of the ice to the other or just the pass in general is that heads move. They, we're curious to see what's going on. Eventually, this middle guy is going to turn his head and see what's going on, on the ice. It's a natural instinct for us to follow that puck. So what's going to happen is that once Dali notices his defender is going to turn his head, he's going to change his speed, and he's going to take inside lane and body position. So as he does that, that puck changes. Now his speed changes because you're going to have one, two, three guys facing off where that puck is. He changes his speed, gets inside, creates that wide base. 
Hagen, he changes his speed. He gets inside, creates that wide base for a beautiful goal. But that speed changed what's ultimately led to a great opportunity for him. He's changing the speed now as he recognizes that everyone's kind of looking at the puck. So now he changes that speed inside position. As he gets inside position, he creates that wide base we often talk about. Okay, his legs become stick blockers. Gives him the opportunity for a pretty one. But do you see how, like, when I say it's instinct, like all three players, as soon as that puck was moved, they all look to see where the puck goes. Yeah, so with that in mind, let's. I want to look at something else in this clip. So the pass is made. Our guy gets it. That's a forward. That's their F3 coming to him. He's turned his head. Now look <laughs> at our centerman underneath. This is what you're saying. He's yeah. picking up speed now. Yep. He sees that open lane. No one's there. We've also got an interesting foot race here. Their lowest forward in our weak side D. Right. It's a cool clip. And our D pulls out. He shouldn't. Right. No, he can keep going. Get in front of him at least a little bit. Slow him down. Yeah, he shouldn't. And he's, he's actually got a step here. He should keep going. You're right. Get in front of him. But there's that, there's that, that change of speed with 20, our, who's our centerman in the middle of the ice. Right. Now he's really – he's skating as fast as he can. Sure. And then and – then, and like I said earlier, this, this backhand pass is, was really good. <laughs> really nice. It's a pretty cool. 